All right. In the previous video, we created one simple student's URL pattern. In this video, let's create one simple API endpoint. Now let's go back to our code. Here, let me see what we have done here. In the URLs, we have created one student's URL, which is a web application endpoint. Now we need API endpoints right so why i have written here like this is because in your web application there can be both of these endpoints right so if you have a website you will still have these endpoints right you'll still have these url patterns you'll still have a lot of pages or functionalities okay that should be available to the public right so that's why whatever public url you want to create for your website will go here and these are the api endpoints okay so most of the times api's endpoints starts from api okay api forward slash version number all right v1.0 or v2.0 or anything like that but i'm just gonna go with this v1 all right so uh, api forward slash v1 and whoever comes to this url pattern that is considered as an api okay you know what we wanted to create one api app okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stop the server i'm saying python manage dot py start app and say api okay so we have one more app created and as you know go to the settings and register it here okay now next step you go to here and in path api forward slash v1 forward slash this time we will include it to api forward slash i mean api dot urls okay api dot urls anybody who comes to this url will be redirected to this particular app okay so this is where we are going to do all the functionalities about the endpoints okay so now let's go to the api and here let's create urls.py so in here let's import this one and let's say url patterns let's say path we just want to create the same api endpoint like this students in the previous one we created students right so this is for public url i'm sorry so this is a public url we want to create this api now let's go here and let's say students okay so here i'm gonna say views dot student view students view okay views dot student view so this will be our function name first we will see the function based view and in the future lectures, we will also learn the class based views as well. So, first, let's say from dot import views. All right. Now, let's go to this API views and let's say define students view. It will take a request. Okay. Now, if you look at our previous example where we have returned this http response right so we have a static list of students and we are returning these students using http response to access it from the browser right now in this one we don't want to use http response we want to use a json response because if you look at our slide we have talked about this core principles of rest right so here what it is saying easy to read data right so whatever response we need to send will be going back with the standardized easy to read format which is of course the json format okay so that is the reason we need to use json response okay so json response will also comes from django.http import json response so at this point you can simply say json response and simply say students is equal to let's create id 
id colon one and name will be ratan and class will be computer science okay so simply pass this students to the json response okay now your api endpoint is ready just run your server and let's go back to the browser and uh, this time we will say api forward slash v1 forward slash students okay we got the page not found error okay no problem this is because uh, let me see this uh, urls.py here you can see i am missing one forward slash here okay just make sure you put the forward slash at the end of every url patterns okay otherwise you will get such errors now refresh and here you can see the json response is printing here okay my browser is showing me pretty print as well you can see so this is your json response that you gave from this api endpoint where is it yeah this is the api endpoint okay so there are a lot of things serialization and all that stuff but you know what it's a very very simple url endpoint or you can say api endpoint but in the future lectures we will be learning a lot about class based views serialization mixins generics view set and all those stuff okay and uh, this should not be accessed from the browser of course currently you can access this api endpoint from the browser but currently we are in the development phase right we can access it from the browser as well and also django rest framework provides us with the uh, browsable api interface as well okay so that will be very easy for us to send and receive the responses on the browser itself while developing okay so we will see all those interesting stuff in the upcoming videos okay thank you